Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm your trainer Ikra Khan and you are here on English Learning Point. And this is Future Perfect Tense. I have already explained you the uh, all the perfect like I have explained you the present perfect, past perfect and this is the last word, word, one. This is the future perfect tense. So to make you understand its structure before I should let you know about the formation of verb that which helping verb do we use while making future perfect tense so here are regular verbs and irregular verbs say right so irregular verbs are those which ends with ed like watch watched watched laugh laughed laughed dance danced danced wash washed washed watch watched watched look looked looked Closed, closed, closed. In the same way, what in the same way, what about the irregular verbs? Irregular verbs are those which change their forms completely. For example, have, had, had, go, went, gone, when, one, one, fly, flew, flown, speak, spoke, spoken, leave, left, left, show, stream, thrown. Right? So these all are the past participle form. And in this tense, in future perfect tense, we always use this form. We always use past participle form. Remember one thing. Uh, this is the structure, right? So remember one thing that always while making all the perfect tense, we always use third form of the verb. Means we always use past participle form. First of all, we use subject. Then we have helping verb will have. Which helping verb do we use while making future perfect tense? We use will have. Which helping verb do we, use, do we use while making future perfect tense? We use will have. Okay? And which form do we use? We use past participle form. Which form do we use? We use third form of the verb. Remember this thing that in all the perfect tense, whether it is present, whether it is past or future perfect tense, whatever the perfect is, we just need to use past participle form. Alright? So here we have the sentence, I will have read the whole book. Negative sentence is like subject, then will, then not, then have. Like between will and have, between will and have, we use not. While making negative, where we use not, between will and have, we use not. And then past participle form. Like I will not have read the whole book. In the same way, while making interrogative sentence, we use first helping verb, then subject, then have, and then third form of the verb okay like will I have read the whole book so it's quite easy to understand its structure you can just uh, keep you, uh, in your minds with this thing that you just have to use third form of the verb and which you just need to use will have and helping uh, form third form of the verb like past participle form we use while making future perfect okay so these all are the affirmative sentences, these all are the negative and these all are the interrogative sentences, okay? And with all the subject, whether it is I, you, he, she, we, they, whatever the subject is, we just need to use will have. I will have clean, you will have clean, he will have clean, she will have clean, we will have clean, they will have clean. In the same way, while making a negative sentence, we use not. I will not have cleaned, you will not have cleaned, he will not have cleaned, she will not have cleaned, we will not have cleaned, they will not have cleaned. Uh, while making derogative sentence, we use will. Will I have cleaned? Will you have cleaned? Will he have cleaned? Will she have cleaned? Will we have cleaned? Will they have cleaned? You can see over here that with all the different subjects, like with I, you, he, she, we, they, with all the different subjects, we just use will and have we, what we use we use will have with all the different subjects and we use past participle form hopefully this must have been cleared and these are the contraction of affirmative sentences and negative sentences right so i will have clean into con is uh, converted into i'll have clean you will have converted into you'll have clean he will have he'll have she will have she'll have it will have clean it'll have we will have clean they will have clean they'll have right in the same way, while making negative sentences, uh, while making contraction of negative sentences, we just need to use I won't have clean, you won't have clean, he won't have clean, she won't have clean, it won't have clean, they won't have clean, we won't have clean, right? So, 
So what is the usage of future perfect tense means where we can use them correctly. We can use to express an action that will be completed before some stated time in the future. I will have taken tea by 7 o'clock to show time expressions by then until they will not have finished their homework till until then. There are some example sentences. By the end of this year, I will have completed my degrees. She will have gone to the market by 7 o'clock. The children will have studied grammar lessons. The farmers will have sown the crops. The passengers will have reached their destination. By the end of the next month, I will have traveled to Venice. I will have taken the exams. Tom will have completed his degree before January begins. She will not have made this mistake. The rain will have stopped before we reach home.